12, everybody. April is Earth Month. This Monday is Earth Day, so it's a great time to think about how to lessen your footprint in the world and live more green, right? So our next two guests here with ideas on how to do just that. Yes, please welcome an award-winning actress best known for such shows like Orange is the New Black and Miss Marvel, Alicia Reiner. Also, we have the executive director of the Earth Day Initiative, John Opperman, thank you guys so much Good for being us. here. Thank Thanks you for having us. We we both I think try to do like sustainable stuff, mm -hmm. live a little bit more green. I like that these are not paper yes. or plastic. We, we got the reusable water mug. I'll be taking that with jugs. Me. Yeah. She's had her jugs for like 20 years. It's about it's been run over by cars. That's and true. Stuff. I, I it's so funny you say that because I have a a water bottle that is so not pretty yeah. <laughs> like it's a wonder woman one yes. but it's missing all the yeah. paint but i love it so much and that's one of the things that we really talk about is yeah. don't replace something unless you have to mm -hmm. right? like it's so simple but don't replace something unless you have mm -hmm. to yeah it's we've heard so many controversial things about recycling whatever it is it's really just right. using less right that's and right. buying less that's right and that's one of the things that we talk about a lot. Everyone's always asking us where it's like, what's the most sustainable fashion or the most sustainable whatever the product is? Thrifted, by yeah. the way, thrifted because in I, London. Yeah. 18 pounds. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Millen dress. Yeah. Fits my daughter too, so two for one. There I you love go. That. Because that's the answer. The most sustainable thing is the thing that already exists. Yeah. So you're not buying something new. Well, she's talk about what you're doing. I am doing this thing for the whole year. You do not buy any new oh, clothes. Amazing. Yes! Yeah. So <laughs> it yeah. has been tough. Yeah. And if the viewers are like, she wore that dress two months ago, I did. But you know what? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. you can borrow from, well, and that's the other thing is like swap with your friends. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Like go to consignment it, shops. It's so much figure fun. out how to make it and work. It, it's more of an adventure and you have a great story. Yeah. You know, I was just filming in London and I got this there and I will always then remember that. Yes. And yeah. I think that's one of the things that we have to fall in love with recycling and reusing mm -hmm. and fall in love with like, oh, glass. Isn't glass beautiful? Yes. You know, like, oh, it's like my grandma <laughs> as opposed to, oh my God, I have to do this yeah. and yeah. I feel shame or I feel guilt. I, I actually yeah. feel great about it. I feel like you're, you're actually making a difference. That's right, you are. And you're saving a ton and of money in the process. Wearing, you, you wore that dress the other day. I was like, this is a brand, I had never seen, and you, it was that pink one. You said you'd never seen it. I, yeah. It was in the back of the closet and I was saving it for something. Yeah. Now I'm like, let's just wear everything we have and exactly. celebrate the things way, that we have. My husband says that all the time. He's like, he's seen something like 10 times. He's like, is that a new dress? Yeah. It's like, no, baby, right. no. It's about 20 years old. Right. And that's the other thing. And do you say to him, I just things. look better? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but I will next yeah, time. I like that. Yeah. I think also it's a mindset, right, John? Because I think some people think you have to make these huge changes yeah. to become eco-friendly or environmentally friendly, and it could just be like recycling a little bit more in your house or composting yeah. or just small things. Talk about some small ways besides the clothing yeah. thing. Well, there's some very prominent activists that talk about being a reducitarian, for instance, mm. so rather than a vegetarian. Mm. If you're not ready to make that full jump into being completely meat-free mm -hmm. and plant-based, you can just reduce your meat consumption and the thing that we advise people around that is kind of the challenges that you have with a New Year's resolution, for mm -hmm. instance, that it's really difficult to make it actionable. So you have the ambition, but then actually making it actionable is the challenge. So often if you compare it to like a New Year's resolution, mm -hmm. you're gonna go to the gym more or you're gonna eat mm -hmm. better. But what does that really mean? Yeah. So we say make it measurable. So set a goal of like three meals a week or five meals a week, you're gonna go plant-based. So oh. whatever it is, make it specific because then you know if you did it. Yeah. It's not like eat less meat because you can convince yourself at the end of the week that you did and you didn't, you don't right. really know. My neighbor's vegetarian asked yeah. me to start with Meatless Monday. Yes, there exactly. You go. Yeah. So it's, it's very specific and you can set a quantity and also another thing is you can also make it in your calendar. So it's actually mm. right there. So put so like, good plant-based lunch yes. five days a week or whatever it is. And then the third thing that we tell people is do it as a group. So like yeah. go with your coworkers, go do plant-based for lunch guys, every day. On this on this floor, you could all decide like, oh, we're gonna do meat meatless Monday. Yeah. Exactly. I like that. Yeah. 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 I'll join you. So that's one small way. It's yeah. hard for people, especially with like Amazon fast fashion, oh, yes. cheaper meats at the grocery mm -hmm. store, because the more sustainable yeah. the meat is or the you know, sustainable products are a little bit more expensive. Yeah. What do you say to people who say, is it really worth paying a little bit more money? Yeah. Well, that's one of the things that has changed. So sustainability really got a bad rap in the early days because, you know, organic food is more expensive yes. than non-organic food. Mm -hmm. 
But now there's actually a lot of ways that you can save money now, which is a big part of a campaign that we're doing this spring around a climate action guide. So the Inflation Reduction Act created all of these tax incentives for people to do things like home energy efficiency improvements. Mm -hmm. You can buy an electric car. You can install renewable energy at home. And these are things that aren't just better for the climate, but it's actually better for your life. And you, you get rebates. Have a better home. That's thousands exactly right. Thousands of dollars. Right. Thousands, 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 thousands of, of dollars. dollars. Just by like changing your windows. Right. Yeah. Or getting a heat pump. You know, like, and you're making money, not losing money. Yeah. Right. And that's a big deal. Yeah. And a lot of times people need to do these things, you know, your windows need replacing right. or like you need more insulation at home. And you can go with these different options that you're going to get thousands of dollars right. in savings. Mm -hmm. So it's really a win-win. Yeah. You're going to have a better home. You're going to have taken action for the climate yeah. and you're going to save money. All right. Because our world is at stake. Yeah. Right? It yeah. really yeah. is. I mean, I didn't know about the whole electric vehicle thing. Somebody just somebody just bought an unnamed electric vehicle and got like twelve thousand dollars in rebates. Yeah, I was exactly. like, wow. Okay, I spent more on my little. Buy me a Tesla, little, Big Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I drive a Mazda. Uh, thank you both for talking about the environment. Appreciate you both being here this morning. Important, important Thanks, topic.